Hi, welcome to our series of guitar tutorials in which I'm aiming at giving you the basics for you to play these beautiful instruments. Okay, so without further ado, let's have a look at our guitar here. So, my guitar is an electric one. Uh, there are different families of guitar. There's the steel string guitar, there's the classical nylon string guitar, and then there's the electric guitar. Hmm? This one is my favorite instrument of choice. So, the first thing that we notice that it's common to all guitars, as soon as we look down on our guitar, is that there are six strings. I want to teach you a little trick on how to remember them. The first string that you see when you look down on your guitar, well, this one is string number six. The string that is the furthest away from you, this one, is string number one. I know it's really counterintuitive because you would think the other way around, but no, remember, when we look down on our guitar, this one, the thickest string, is your string number six, and this one is your string number one, hmm? the one that is the furthest away from you. By looking on this side on the guitar, we have a board, and inside this board there are these kind of boxes here that we have. Hmm? Each one of them is closed by two metal bars. Well, these boxes over here are called frets, F-R-E-T-S, and they are really fundamental for us. We also notice that we have um, a series of white little dots here that are all placed on the odd numbers 3, 5, 7, 9, 15, 17, 19, 21. So, these white dots over here are nothing but landmarks for us to find notes quickly. For instance, one time we will need to play fret 8 on string 4, which is here, because 3, 5, 7, 8. Hmm? That's why we have the dots here. I'm sure you've noticed that we have two dots on this uh, specific fret over here. It's simply because it's a very special uh, place of our guitar, our fretboard starts again from this section onward. So, from here to here, we will have a series of sound, and they will start again one octave higher from this part. So, in other words, your fretboard starts again one octave higher from here. But don't worry, we will talk more about this kind of stuff in the future. Hmm? Alright, so... Uh, without further ado, let's grab our guitar and let's play together. Okay, follow me, we play one, two, three... What? Doesn't sound really right. What happened here? Well, my guitar is out of tune. It's something that happens all the time to guitars. Guitars are very sensitive. Uh, it means that the tuning machines are not uh, wired in the way that they should and uh, it can depend on multiple factors. Maybe you have put your guitar on your bed and the tuning machines have moved or it could be an atmospherical thing. Hmm? Guitars are very responsive to weather change and conditions. So how do we tune our guitar? Well, I, today I want to show you two ways of tuning your guitar. Um, the first one it's nothing but, um, it's very simple and intuitive, and it involves downloading an app. Just like this one, there are thousands of free apps, tuning apps on the market that you can download easily on your phone, and in my opinion, those are the easiest way for you to tune your guitar, simply because you've got your app, you activate your app, you play your note, sorry. And the app tells you exactly what you have to do. You just need to follow the instructions. But what if you don't have a tuning app? Well, in this case, you have to go. Uh, you have to use an, a very ancient method that I used to use, use when I was, um, you know, a young student when I was learning my guitar as well in my teens. Um, that involves using the symmetries present on the guitar. So I'm gonna show it to you. First of all, we will need to have our A 
perfectly tuned. That's the first condition. So our string 5, which corresponds to the sound A, needs to be perfectly tuned. That's the only starting condition. If we don't have our A tune, we have to find the reference A. It could be a piano. Uh, when I was a kid, we used to use the dialing tune on our phone. That was a perfect A. A. Yeah, there was ta ta. There was a dialing tone of our phone. Perfect A. Now, once you've done this, follow my instruction. We play fret five, string six, and then open string five. Down. We can see that the two sounds don't uh, collide. So. It's okay, not bad. Now we're gonna then jump on to fret 5, string 5, and we're gonna measure it against open string 4. Not bad. Next string. Fret 5, string 4, with open string 3. Then we're gonna measure, careful here, fret 4 string 3 with open string 2. And finally, fret 5 string 2 with open string 1. And now, praying to God, it should be okay. Yes! We have tuned our guitar. Now, what are the advantages of this method? Well, first of all, it's very portable. You can tune your guitar practically anywhere, anytime. And it's quite, you know, uh, it's quite easy to do as well once you get the hang of it. But what's the drawback? Well, the drawback is that, first of all, you need a very quiet ambience around you. Mm? Imagine you are in an ensemble, maybe you are at a gig and uh, you have to use this method, it's really not, not effective because you will end up getting a, a sound for another. Mm? Um, another drawback is the fact that it's not precise because you have to have a very good ear to get the sound of the notes right at the first time. So, I would say that this method is an approximation of a good tuning. Hmm? Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. Let's have a look at what, at all the things that we have seen today. So first of all, we have started talking about the numbers today of the strings. String 6, which is your thickest string, the one that you see, the first one that you see when you look down on your guitar. And then string 1 is the highest one, the highest pitch one, the, the one that, that is the furthest away from you. Then we talked about the fret board, we talked about the reference point that we had, the single dot one are all on odd numbers, and then we talked about the special place on the guitar where your fretboard starts again. Listen to this. Exactly the same notes, one octave higher. Hmm? We will talk more about it. And for the last um, concept that we have seen today, we have talked about how to tune your guitar in two different ways. With a tuning up, which I recommend, and with your, uh, by using the symmetries of the guitar. I'll see you in the next tutorial.